See, because religion says do, Jesus says done. Religion says slave, Jesus says son. Religion puts you in bondage while Jesus sets you free. Religion makes you blind, but Jesus makes you see. And that's why religion and Jesus are two different clans. Religion is man searching for God. Christianity is God searching for man. Now the 11 disciples went to Galilee to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. And when they saw him, they worshiped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. Amen. Oh, oh, it's, yeah, this is an ESV. The KJV says amen right here. That's not a do command. Jesus said do all the time. This is Matthew 25. Go ahead and, uh, and pause the video and uh, read it. And uh, let me know uh, what you think. Because uh, truthfully, I think a lot of Christians, having never read Matthew 25, will have a heart attack when they realize that their religion is unbeknownst to Jesus. Jesus describes the judgment and the difference between sheep and goats are the doers and not doers of the word. Yeah, and the non-doers, it uh, doesn't work out well for them. James, Jesus' half-brother. Verse 22, but be doers of the word and not hearers, only deceiving yourself. If you didn't actually read this thing, you'd think that this guy's uh, little spoken word was super legit. Romans, Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ. Colossians 4, 18. Remember my bond. Titus, Paul, a servant of God. Philemon, Paul, a prisoner of Jesus Christ. James, oh yeah, yeah. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ. Second Peter, Simon Peter, a servant and an apostle of Jesus Christ. Jude, another half brother of Jesus. Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ and brother of James. Revelation. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant, John. And if you be of Jesus, you get to hear him say, well done, my good and faithful servant. I don't think his spoken word was all bad, but in the full version, he speaks against the words of Christ a few times, to which I say, that's wild. I'm done.